welcome ladies and gentlemen i am the crypto crow and no you cannot see me today uh, i am going to go over two platforms that are going to change your life uh and luckily for me they're both mine <laughs> uh, so what's one of the biggest problems with uh cardano based nfts right now uh no royalties right that it, no royalties there's no auction place uh everything's pretty much a buy it now that's about to change by the time you're done with this video. Now, what we're gonna to explain today are two platforms, adatokenizer.io and zempify.com. Now, uh, they work hand in hand and we've been working on these for quite a while and I'm really excited to show you guys how this stuff works. Uh, and I'm gonna go through a step-by-step -step process. We're gonna create uh, an NFT collection. We're going to mint an NFT on that collection. Then we're going to send that to Zempify and we're going to make it available for sale. Okay. And uh, I, I really think you're going to dig this. Now, when we get to Zempify, I'm going to explain some things because the site itself self is still a little bare bones. Um, we're out of uh, test net where it is live, but I'm not, I haven't been actively really promoting it because there's still so much that we're implementing, uh, but we're going to get to that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to adatokenizer.io. Okay. So it's basically adatokenizer.io also still in beta. And then you're going to set up your account. All right. Once you've set up your account there, you're going to sign in. And once you've signed in, you're going to be taken to your dashboard. Now you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff. I've got all kinds of fun stuff in here. Uh, you're going to see I have created uh, just a lot of stuff. I've created some tokens. I've got five collection tokens in here, and I've got two native tokens. I've got Crowcoin, which is CAW, C-A-W. Uh, and then I've got lobster token because why not? You know, Card uh, Charles likes to talk about lobsters and the, the new Cardano logo or, or uh, y y mascot, you know, being the lobster. So it's like, okay, I created a, a meme token with a lobster. It's a lobster, lobster coin. Um, so if you go to the site, uh, you'll see <laughs> there's lobster. And, um, and then if I go to the caw token, there's what the little logo I made. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go into your profile and you're going to go into collections. Okay. And once there, you'll see, I already have one in here. It's twisted time, 16 bit series that I've been adding, uh, this afternoon, but you don't have anything yet. You're going to create a new collection. All right. So we're going to click new collection and then I'm going to go into my folder here. Uh, for my sample stuff and I'm going to create uh, I'm going to throw my logo in for this particular collection, which I've just it's just the Zempify Launch collection. All right, uh, I'll type in the name Zempify Launch Theories, okay, uh, I can put in a description uh, testing collections and NFT listings for Zempify. All right. Now, for mint on demand, we're going to say we're going to leave it at no. But what's ultimately going to happen uh, in the near future is you're going to be able to switch this to yes, and there are going to be a lot of other functions associated with it. So you can mint entire collections all at once without minting them up front. So you're going to be able to create all these NFTs on a tokenizer, and you're not going to have to pay up front. You'll, you'll basically mint them as they're being sold so that you don't incur all the fees right up front, which is going to be a really big deal. Uh, in before slot boundary, uh, I'll just pick 180 days. Royalty percentage. So this is where I pick how much of a royalty I want uh, out of the NFTs in this particular collection. So I prefer a 10% royalty. Uh, I think that's fair. And so I'm just adding a 0 0.10. That's a 10% royalty. Now, down here again, this is your royalty address. And this is where you're actually going to put in your wallet address and i'm going to copy that and then paste it in here okay and then all of the all the royalties associated with this collection are going to go to this royalty address all right that's it 
So now we're gonna hit mint, or we're gonna hit create, rather, and then we're gonna let that process. Now, there are some drawbacks, uh, not really drawbacks, but some of the things that you're gonna do uh, on Ada Tokenizer or even Zempify will take a little time. And so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this video, but it takes a little time. When Hydra launches, you know, I was talking to my de developer about this, when Hydra launches, it's gonna speed up everything significantly. But until then, things can take, you know, five minutes sometimes um, to propagate for all of the processes to conclude and then everything be finished. So be prepared, especially early on, it's gonna take a little time. Okay, so now what, what you're gonna have to do is my suggestion would be wait three to five minutes um, once you've started the creation of your uh, collection because all of the on-chain stuff that goes on takes about that long before you're gonna see add a NFT uh, at the bottom of the page. So after three to five minutes, just hit reload, refresh the page, and the data, sh the data should change. If you see something on the bottom, um, then it says like waiting for collection to finish processing down along here, then it's still processing everything on the blockchain, okay? So you just hit refresh, wait a few more minutes until this add a NFT pops up. But as of right now, this collection has been created and it's ready to add an NFT to it. So we're gonna click add NFT. So this is, you'll see new token, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the line art for my Cardano Twisted Times NFT. Uh, and this is gonna be, this is it. Like this is gonna be a one of a kind. It's gonna be on the marketplace at some point. So Cardano line art. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, twisted times. All right. So I've got the title in there. Description. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> So there's, a, there's Cardano line art of the Twisted Times NFT. Now, here I can add properties. So I can say item, uh, there's a rifle. Um, I can say there is a person, uh, there's a man. And, you know, let's say feature, I don't know, uh, tattoo. Okay, you get the idea. Basically, just little keywords associated with the NFT that people might search for or find later, okay, based off of maybe particular something particular they're looking for. And then I'll save those. The serial number, you know, you want to, if you're doing a big collection, obviously you want to make each serial number sequential. Um, so for this, we'll just say twisted times line art one, all right? And. <clears throat> Additional files, if there are any additional files that you want to attach to this, JPEGs, GIFs, MP4s, MP3s, WAVs, etc. I don't have any. About, that's really just to help me. It's not going to do anything for me, and it's not being written to the blockchain, so it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to create it. All right, so there's the NFT waiting to be minted, but we haven't minted it yet. All right, so it's there, it's in the system, and it wants us to mint it. So I'm gonna click mint this NFT, and it's gonna give me a payment window, all right? It costs 7.78 uh, ADA, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to my wallet right now, I'm gonna copy this uh, address, I'm gonna go into my NAMI wallet, and I'm going to send that ADA amount to the system. All right, so 7.78 and send. Oh, that's right. Uh, duh, duh, duh. All right, so I just sent the, the 7.78 ADA to this address and it'll take a little bit of time. And then you'll notice that this window will just disappear once the payment has been received and recorded on the blockchain. All right, so it disappeared, and you're gonna see the, the, the page. That went away, I'm gonna refresh, and there it is. Um, there's the metadata, chain nodes are still confirming, but the NFT is in my system. So if I go back to collections, 
and then I go to this NFT or the Zempify launch series. I'll see that NFT has been created and is now part of this collection. Okay. Now, then what you're going to want to do is when you look in your NAMI wallet, which I can't really show you because it's the way it's all set up, but you'll see that NFT is in your uh, NAMI wallet, right? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go in Now you're going to go to Zempify.com. All right. As soon as you're there, you're going to connect your NAMI wallet. All right. Uh, the, all both systems work on the NAMI wallet. You can you can mint NFTs and things using Daedalus um, and, and other wallets because it's a it's a process where you're actually making the payment that's provided to you from whatever wallet. That NFT is then sent directly to whatever wallet you used. Okay, but Zempify the marketplace itself uses the NAMI wallet. All right, so I'm going to connect my wallet. I'm going to sign. All right, so I'm confirming that, and now I am logged in. And now what you see, once you're logged in with your NAMI wallet, you'll see Add Item, okay? Once I click Add Item, now I'm given a system address, all right? Now, these are, these are NFTs that I've already added to the system down here, um, but this is the address you want. So I'm going to copy this, okay? And then I'm going to open my NAMI wallet, and I'm going to send the NFT that I created that should be sitting on my NAMI wallet, and I'm gonna send that to the system. I'm gonna send it to Zempify, and I'm gonna include 1.74 ADA in the transaction, all right? So I'm, I'm sending the, the NFT as well as 1.78 ADA or 1.74 ADA. Oh, I, was, I did, okay, 1.74 ADA, and then I'm gonna send it. All right. Okay. So, and I know you can't see those transactions on the NAMI wallet because of the way it's set up in the browser, but uh, so I've, I've basically sent the NFT I created to the Zempify system along with uh, the 1.74 ADA, which basically covers transaction costs and things like that. There are some fees like creation of collections that we actually eat a little bit. They're they're very small, but they, they we eat those right now. Um, I personally had to seed the uh, the system a little, uh, and so what's going to happen is is that the, everything's happening on chain, and then we're ultimately going to see this NFT pop up. I can I'll wait a second or two. Uh, it may pop up on its own, but I'll probably have to hit scan here. And then it's basically scanning for the transaction, looking for an NFT, okay, which isn't there yet. So we're gonna give it a couple minutes. Okay, so now I see it, it's right down here. Uh, so now my NFT is sitting on the Zempify system under my account, ready to go. So once I have, and then what, you, what you're also gonna have to do is that when you first start on this site, you're gonna have, to, there's gonna be a thing up here and there's gonna be a line that basically says you have to go through the terms of service and accept those. You will not see list this item until you've completed the terms of service. And while you're doing that, you're also going to start working on your profile and you'll fill it out with links and things. We are in the process now. We. <coughs> We haven't added the change your avatar or your background picture yet, but that's coming very soon. We're focusing on the primary stuff right now. But as you'll see, my, the 10% uh, royalty is already in the system. It's already sitting here on Zempify. So now all you have to do is you pick your, uh, uh, your category, okay? Once you've, and, and we're adding another one, we're adding a fractionalized and then we're adding gaming. So like game NFT assets and then fractionalized NFTs, which I personally think is gonna be one of the next big things. Um, but this, uh, we're gonna call this a collectible and then we're gonna update that. And that's that. So now the NFT is on Zempify.com, ready to rock. Let's list this bad boy. Um, as of right now, okay, so this is this is going to change, okay, just so that you know, but this is, um, when you're filling this out, the create listing isn't going to change until 
uh, you've added enough zeros for this to create like 10 ADA, okay? So if I add another zero, now it's 100 ADA, all right? And this is a fixed price. Auctions are coming soon. The system's already done. It's just in testing. So that's gonna be launching soon. So you're gonna be able to do auctions, which is what I'm waiting for to do my full-blown treasure hunt, you know, uh, Twisted Times NFT series. That's gonna have a lot of ciphers and codes and things associated with it all. Uh, I wanna do those as an auction and then I'm gonna take a percentage of the sales. I'm gonna throw them into the treasure wallet. But that's another video, another thing. So anyway, I'm just gonna list this for 100 ADA and we're gonna create uh, create listing. Listing is creating. And there it is. Um, and my developer told me he's changing this right now so that you can just plug in how much ADA so you don't have to do all the zeros. So make sure you're looking for that. <laughs> when you're, by the time this video is published, that'll probably change. But anyway, here it is. So if you want to test it uh, and you want to see, okay, uh, it, do you are the royalties going to this address? Do royalties uh, actually work on a Cardano NFT marketplace? There you go. You can go test it out and see for yourself. And any of you guys that are out there, if you buy this NFT and and you know you want to see, you know, did the did the royalty work? You'll be able to click on the blockchain and you'll be able to find out. So let me know below. And that's it. I mean, you just kind of keep going through that process for individual NFTs. And, um, you know, I, I'm like super jacked up. I'm pumped about this. Booyah Kashan. So I'm really pumped. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see this um, really come to fruition and grow. And um, hopefully you guys get busy because I will tell you too, uh, as more people start listing their NFTs and marketing their NFTs on Zempify, you're going to start seeing this page change drastically. It's going to be, it's going to get very busy. Um, the top sellers are going to be featured. The top NFTs are going to be featured. The top collections, all that fun stuff. So check it out, Zempify.com. Hopefully this was helpful. Make sure you join the Zempify Telegram community with the link in the description below. And uh, we'll see you very soon. Thanks, folks.